Underwater Giants A look at Typhoon submarines, these things are massive, like bigger than any submarine ever built. We're talking over 600 feet long and they can dive deeper than most subs. Imagine a building underwater, armed with nukes. Not something you want to mess with. Typhoon submarines were the pride of the Soviet Navy. Built during the Cold War, they were designed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the U.S. Navy. Their main job? Carrying lots of nuclear missiles. These weren't your regular subs. These were underwater fortresses, meant to scare the heck out of anyone. Cold War Titans, How Typhoons Changed the Game Back in the day, the U.S. and the Soviet Union were locked in a tense standoff, a period marked by intense rivalry and the looming threat of nuclear war. Both sides were building up their nuclear arsenals, trying to outdo each other in a dangerous game of brinkmanship, each new weapon more powerful than the last. The Typhoons were a major power move by the Soviets, a clear demonstration of their naval capabilities and technological prowess. They were a way of saying, we're here, we're strong, and we're not backing down. It was a bold statement of their military might. These subs were packed with cutting-edge technology, featuring advanced navigation systems, sonar, and communication equipment. They could stay underwater for months, they were super quiet, almost undetectable by enemy forces, and they could launch their missiles from thousands of miles away, striking targets with pinpoint accuracy. This made them a serious threat to the U.S. and its allies, altering the strategic balance of power. Think of them as the underwater equivalent of a stealth bomber, capable of evading detection and delivering a devastating blow. They could sneak up on you without you even knowing they were there, a silent and deadly presence lurking beneath the waves, ready to strike at any moment. Pricey Upgrades – Why Fixing Up Typhoons Is Tough so why isn't Russia upgrading these underwater beasts? Well, it all comes down to money and priorities. Russia's economy isn't what it used to be. Maintaining and upgrading these subs costs a fortune. Think about the cost of maintaining a small city, that's what we're talking about here. On top of that, the technology on these subs is outdated. Upgrading them would mean gutting them and basically rebuilding them from scratch. It's like trying to turn an old clunker into a Tesla. It's just not practical or cost effective. Section 4, Still a Threat, Why Typhoons Matter Today Even though they're old, typhoons are still a force to be reckoned with. These submarines, despite their age, continue to hold a significant place in naval warfare. They still pack a punch with their nuclear missiles. Each typhoon is equipped with ballistic missiles that can reach targets thousands of miles away. Just one of these subs could cause serious damage. The destructive power they hold is immense, capable of altering the course of conflicts. It's like having a rusty old shotgun. It might not be pretty, but it'll still blow your head off. The analogy highlights that despite their age, their lethality remains undiminished. Russia knows this, and that's why they're keeping at least one typhoon in service. Maintaining these submarines ensures they have a formidable deterrent in their arsenal. It's a reminder to the world that Russia is still a major nuclear power. The presence of typhoons serves as a strategic message to other nations. Plus, these subs are still pretty darn good at hiding in the ocean. Their stealth capabilities make them elusive targets, difficult to detect and track. They can patrol the vast Arctic region making it tough for anyone to track them down. The harsh and remote environment of the Arctic provides a perfect cover for these silent giants. Section 5. What's Next? The Uncertain Future of Typhoons Nobody knows for sure what will happen to these underwater giants. Their fate hangs in the balance with many factors at play. Russia might decide to scrap them altogether and focus on building newer, more modern subs. The advancements in technology could make the old typhoons obsolete, or they might find a way to keep them around for a few more years, using them for special missions or as a deterrent. These missions could range from intelligence gathering to strategic defense. One thing's for sure, the typhoons are a symbol of a bygone era. They were the pride of the Soviet Navy and a testament to their naval prowess. They represent the Cold War arms race and the incredible engineering feats that were possible during that time. The sheer size and power of these submarines were unmatched. Whether they stay in service or end up as museum pieces, they'll always be remembered as some of the most impressive submarines ever built. Their legacy will continue to inspire future generations of naval engineers and historians alike. Section 6. Conclusion Giants at a Crossroads so, there you have it. 
Russia isn't upgrading its Typhoon subs because it's just too expensive and complicated. These underwater behemoths are a product of a different time. They're still dangerous, but their time is running out. The future of these underwater giants is uncertain. But one thing's for sure, they'll always be a reminder of the Cold War and the incredible engineering feats that were possible during that era.